Our first segment is called the Groove Hackers segment. And this is where we are going to take a tune and break it down and back engineer it and figure out how we can make that work on a fiddle. So what do you got for us, Chris? Okay, so I was thinking maybe coffin dance, <clears throat> um, but we can go other directions if you want. Uh, but uh, um, this is, uh, you know, this is a real popular meme out there. All the kids are loving it. It's called okay. coffin dance. So I've got the loop here. I'll just share it with you real quick. And, okay. Uh, in fact, I'll play a little bit of the the melody. Everybody's gonna know it. You may not know it. Chris, I may not know we're, it. <laughs> we're, we're old, so we don't know. But, but my eleven year old, you know, he tells me what. So <laughs> my mind will probably like too. This. That's the tune. Everybody okay. listening to this is going to know it, but but like I said, we, we <laughs> better not know. So, so trust me. So maybe trust me. Unless you want to do something else, we no, can't. No, no, no. Let's go with it. Let's go That's with it. That's the total groove. So so the... Um, and I love your approach to rhythm, and, and, and I know that we probably agree on a lot about it, you know, um, about how to approach this. Now, if you wanted to do this just just totally acoustically in fact i'd love to see how you might do it um but um there's just three chords mm -hmm. and it's d to e to f sharp minor so uh, you know we could even just do power chords right you could just mm -hmm. do that and so that's all i'm doing is fifths right So that's how we would do it if we use the the um the sixteenth notes. What I mm -hmm. like to do is practice rhythms with the sixteenth notes in the bow because my arm, my body is literally counting for me. Exactly, right? man. <laughs> you have hit the nail on the head right there. People, are you listening to what Chris is talking about? You gotta keeping your arm moving is, is what brings it into your body. And that's how you that's how you internalize that groove because we you know you might have great rhythm but unless you put it in your body it's not it may not stay great all the time yeah and and, and all of our wonderful conductors and and teachers tell us all this time you know subdivide count in your head right. and i think and i totally agree with that but um i think when our body is doing the counting literally for us yes. it's a deep a deeper way of of internalizing that 